Hey guys, it's Ann. Welcome to the channel. Today we're going to take a look in on the no grit bin. Now, the reason why we're doing this is we're testing the use of grit. How much is necessary and also if it's possible that worms will actually use hard bits of food or whatever as grit in the absence of anything like ground up eggshell or oyster shell or things like that. So, you know, also, you know, what will it do other than digestion? Will it affect reproduction? Um, my thought is that they will, they will eat the food once it is, you know, degraded enough and then they'll just slurp it up in their little mouths. So, let's have a look here. Now, they do have quite a few helpers. There's some springtails in here. That's all I'm seeing at the moment, but uh, let's flip through here. It's a really nice moisture. Um, it's getting to that time of the season where basically, you know, everything has, the humidity is way up, so I think the worm bins will be safe, you know, for the rest of the spring season from drying out too much. Let's see. I think that might be the food, so let's make sure we don't have any old food laying around. Now, I have done this experiment before. I did this in 2021 where we used leaves and um, some people had thought that the leaves were actually per providing some grit because they, you know, were on the ground before I picked them up. Um, so we did it this time again, but we, you know, only used shredded paper and cardboard. All right, so trying to see where the last feeding was. This uh, melon rind is pretty far gone. I'll put a picture below of what it was we fed last time and how long ago that was. But I'm seeing more, more of the melon rind over here, but there's no, me no melon left at all. So and I think I started to see a little bit of food over here in this corner. Let's, let's flip it over and see what we've got. Okay, we've got a good size worm ball there. So I'll just let that play for a little bit. Okay, so whatever they're into here, looks like it might be the pineapple finally. Is seeing the fibers here? It takes a long time for them to get into the pineapple. So I think the melon is probably what I fed last. And then the pineapple, you know, is finally at a place where they can get into it, you know, where um, it's available for them. Okay, nice worm ball though. I think, you know, we started this bin with, you know, a couple gallons of bedding and about a pound of worms. And that was, I think, 60 days ago. So, I think we still have a pound, maybe more, in here. And this is my Red Wiggler, Red Wiggler Blue Worm European Nightcrawler mix. And uh, they appear to be doing good. We'll go ahead and I'm going to put the old food over together and I'm going to put the new food on top this time. So have you ever done this no grit or maybe forgot to use grit or maybe you didn't know you were supposed to use grit? Let me know in the comments below if you've done this before. And if you're enjoying this video, give it a muddy thumbs up. If you're not a member of my worm family, click that subscribe button. All right, so let's get them some new food. Courtesy of Aunt Cece, we have some asparagus and some carrots. I don't normally get asparagus, so I'm not really sure how that's going to go. It's pretty fibrous, so I imagine that it's going to be, you know, it's going to take a little while. And there are some carrots here, but they've been frozen, so I don't know about that. And I think we've got a hamburger bun. Let's close these guys up. And they do seem to be eating pretty normally. Now looking through here, I mean, I'm not saying that they're eating slower than, than other bins is what I mean. But looking through here, I'm not really seeing any cocoons, but it might be kind of too soon for that considering the bin's only a couple of months old. I have a, an entire playlist just for this no grit experiment. If you want to see that, I will push that over there right now. If you want to see the beginning of the 2022 bin, I'll link that right over there. All right, guys, thanks for hanging out with me and my worms, and everybody have a good day.